Let's get started. Extreme Foolishness TV here. This is where I talk about extreme foolishness that goes on around you. This is a new low on Extreme Foolishness TV. Today's story is about a fool in Atlanta, an extreme fool. His identity is unknown right now. He shot two women who worked at Subway. One died, one is in the hospital. Why did he shoot them? Because they had too much mayo in his sandwich. This is sad. Let's take a watch. Worker was shot and killed, and another is in surgery this Monday morning. Police say a customer didn't like how the workers made the sandwich. Investigators say the shooting was all over too much mayonnaise. If you can believe that, Channel 2's Justin Carter is live at the scene downtown on Northside Drive. Justin, the owners say the victim. You heard right. Two people were shot because the customer was upset over too much mayo in his sandwich. The sad thing is that I actually like a lot of mayo in my sandwich. And what is the worst case scenario if somebody put too much mayo in the sandwich and you don't like it? Go back there and say, hey, can you make me another sandwich? Ask for your money back. Whatever, I'm sure they will try to fix the situation. But to pull out a gun and shoot two young women who are working just because they got too much money in your sandwich? Mental illness is real, people. Or extreme foolishness is doggone real. Let's keep going. They were model employees. Fred, I mean, it's just unbelievable. It kind of makes you shake your head. Yeah, the owners told us that it was two young ladies who were shot all over making a sandwich for someone. One of them lost their life. Let's set the scene for you. Here's the scene right now. You can still see uh, caution tape surrounding this building. Uh, obviously, it's closed right now. There's also bullets in the front, uh, in the front entrance way of this restaurant. Now, police say this is just senseless, and whoever did this will be caught. Subway co-owner Willie Glenn says he is stunned and heartbroken. It just breaks my heart to know that someone has the audacity to, to point a weapon and shoot someone for as little as too much mayonnaise on a sandwich. It happened here. The, the thing about it is that we live in a very, very gun culture everybody wants to shoot everybody wants to shoot every dispute ends up in somebody pulling out a weapon and some people are very unstable that is why this gun debate has to be addressed people who have mental issues who have issues should not be getting guns there has to be some way there's a gun culture there's just something in the air where people just think that they gotta shoot they gotta shoot they gotta shoot it's crazy. Imagine what would go into someone's head to, that you had to go pick up a gun and shoot two people, shoot through a store just because they put too much mayo in your sandwich. And you see the business owner? Now, you got somebody dead. You got somebody in the hospital. Hopefully, she makes it. And even if she makes it, she may not completely recover. They are probably kids. They're girls. Maybe trying to make a little change. The people can't even work right now, make a honest living without the fear of being shot because maybe they made a little mistake or whatever you want to call it by putting too much mayo in their sandwich, too much cheese. This is ridiculous. Here around 6.30 Sunday at this Subway restaurant on Northside Drive in downtown Atlanta. Investigators on scene collecting evidence, trying to figure out why someone would do this. What you're seeing behind me is the result of a tragedy, a senseless tragedy that we've seen numerous times throughout the year where an argument leads to gunfire and now we have someone dead. Dead over. The officer was right. It is a senseless tragedy where an argument will lead to a gunfire and someone is dead? Just a simple argument. What's going on? Gone are the days where people resolve disputes. Even if you got to fight it out, you fight it out. You can go out there 
and complain to the manager. You can go out there and ask for a refund. You can dispute the charge if you pay with your credit card. At least there are other ways, other nonviolent means to resolve dispute. That is why when Will Smith went and slapped Chris Rock on stage, I was vehemently against it. And a lot of people were supporting it, especially a lot of women. This is the result. And it's, it's, it's a telltale sign of the society we live in that people are not even used to listening to authority. They're not used to obeying law and order. They're, some kids are emasculated. A lot of kids are grown, uh, uh, grown up in homes without a father. So to them, violence is something that they resort to at the first instance. They feel like it's cool because there's no one there to teach them that no. A weak man picks up a gun and shoots somebody. You only shoot somebody or use deadly force when you're trying to protect your life from deadly force. Not because you just got into a slight argument or because someone didn't make your sandwich well, they put too much money in your sandwich or they put too much cheese in your sandwich. I've gone to so many restaurants where they screwed up my order all the time. It never once crossed my mind to even push somebody, let alone pick up a gun and shoot them. Mayonnaise. You can see where the bullets pierce through the front of this restaurant. Al Robinson is also a co-owner and says the victims were very young and star employees. You pull out a gun and just shoot somebody. We're good employee. Sandwich. That's ridiculous. My heart just my heart just breaks right now. Over a. It's sad, man. You know, it's sad. It's it's a sad day. Like seriously. And this is in Atlanta, too. You got two business owners who are out there grieving the loss of the employee. And one employee was most likely in the hospital recovering from a gunshot wound. And there were model employees just from the from what the one of the co-owners said. They probably worked hard. They worked hard, did their job. Now they have to lose their life. One of them lost her life over a sandwich it's ridiculous this is some extreme foolishness i hope they apprehend the suspect and you know sometimes i think it's it's about time to bring back the firing squad or something or something because this is crazy there has to be a deterrent something has to happen you can't just go walking around thinking just pick up a gun and shoot somebody because she got into an argument or because they didn't make your sandwich very, very well. Let's continue the conversation in the comments. Just like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel. Appreciate you. One love, my lovely people. Stay safe out there, my friends. And most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.